You're good. Oh, okay. Welcome everyone. I'm Nyla Christensen. Thanks for joining us tonight. We have some great information to share, so let's go ahead and get started. One of the things that I love about what we're doing is we're really getting to the root of problems. I think we can all agree that our nation is in a health crisis as well as a financial crisis. Tonight, you're going to hear from three healthcare professionals about how we have the ability to change both areas of need, health and finances. So now I would like to introduce Michaela Peterson. She's a wife and mom to four little kiddos. She's been a pharmacist for 11 years and is extremely passionate about helping her family as well as others in the community take control of their health. Take it away, Michaela. Thank you so much, Michaela. <laughs> thought of this call, so we're all very thankful to her. My name is Michaela Peterson, and I really came into really? this whole thing of prevention medicine, basically wanting to grow our own food. I, am, I live on a ranch in the middle of nowhere, and we have five-foot bull snakes. And so I loved gardening, but I hate those suckers. And so I really wanted a way to be able to feel safe in the garden. And so I heard of a tower garden, and I wanted one instantly. I had researched the heck out of it. Basically what it is, is a garden where you can grow 28 different plants, indoors or outdoors, no weeds, no soil, no snakes. It's on a timer, you water it every three weeks. I mean, could it be better? I, I didn't think anything could be better. And so within one conversation with a pharmacist friend of mine, I found out about this amazing product called Juice Plus. And what Juice Plus is, is 30 fruits, vegetables, and berries in a capsule or a soft chew. And I trusted her wholeheartedly. And so when she told me that it's amazing, I was like, well, sign us all up. And so I paid the $50 to be a rep because there's no minimums, no quotas or images, but I really didn't want to share it with anyone. And it wasn't until about five weeks into our journey where my two-year-old that gagged at anything green was asking for salads and eating seconds. My four-year-old that struggled with focus was crawling up on our laps and asking us to read her book after book. My husband didn't have the inflammation that he previously did in, from a leg injury. I had energy that was through the roof, so at that point, I really decided to research what we were putting into our bodies, and I was blown away by the research. A pharmaceutical drug needs two studies on the intended population, and it only has to be effective 65% of the time in order to get to market, and fruits and vegetables in a capsule have 38 published clinical studies with four more to go soon. So that fact alone blew me away and I read how it was, how it was created and I messaged a mom of a kiddo with cancer and I was that person that was kind of too cool to share it before. I, I didn't want to share it with the soul because I didn't want to be that person. Do you all know who that person is? I didn't want to be like the crazy juice plus lady that people ran the opposite direction when they saw. And um, what happened though, when I messaged a mom of a kiddo with cancer is she messaged me right back and said, how long have you known about this and why wouldn't you have told me sooner? And that got me. I mean, that rocked me to the core because I took an oath to do no harm as many healthcare professionals do did on this phone right now. <laughs> and by not sharing it, I absolutely was doing harm. And so at that point, I just prayed God put in my path the people that need me most. And uh, we had a daycare incident about four months in, and I had already known that I was helping more people in four months with Juice Plus than I had in 10 years as a pharmacist or nine years at that point as a pharmacist. And so I knew that this was going to be my plan A, but I just didn't know my exit strategy. And so God shut that door. And so within a year with Juice Plus, I had replaced what I was making at the pharmacy and within 17 months. Um, we made it to the top position in the company, which gets a $70,000 benefits package, including dental, vision, medical, life insurance, college tuition reimbursement for kids. And that's just been the biggest blessing for our family. Our lives are forever changed because of Juice Plus, but also the business, which has allowed us to retire my husband from his family farming situation that he didn't love all of the time. And he's been able to do what he loves, which are, you know, which is working with cattle. So we are so grateful for the business and the product, but also this amazing community. It's so fun to be able to work alongside like-minded people that I never knew three years ago. So um, one of those people that is absolutely amazing is Miss Laura Dorsey. And she's from Kansas and has three great boys and is also a farm wife and a physical therapist. So Laura, will you bless us with your story? 
<laughs> I sure will. Thank you, Michaela. Okay, so my name's Laura Dorsey, like Michaela said, and I um, worked in physical therapy. I worked mostly with the elderly. Um, I did. I started off in the skilled nursing facility and then went into home health where I worked for 10 years. And so you can imagine, I saw the sickest of the sick besides maybe what a hospice you know, caregiver would, would see. Um, all of my patients had all of the chronic diseases, COPD, CHF, diabetes, cancer, autoimmune disease, you know, all of it. Um, I saw orthopedic patients and, you know, their recovery really varied according to their inflammation, right? So that is what I did previously. And, but I also have a degree in nutrition and exercise science. Uh, but I always say that those things are what led me to ignore Juice Plus for five years because I was in the ITC club, meaning I'm too cool because I know too much, right? And so the reason why my friend was trying to share with me is because my youngest son, Pete, had, um, he was really sick when he was a baby. He was in and out of the hospital with severe reflux to the point where he would um, aspirate. So he had to be on thickened liquids. Uh, he had RC twice. So that led to pneumonia and he had, um, he had asthma really bad. So every time he got sick, which was every three or four weeks, he would be on the asthma action plans, you know, nebulizer treatments and inhalers. He had two different kinds of inhalers. Um, we were doing chiritussin, prednisone, all of that stuff. And every time he got sick, he always ended up on an antibiotic. And I just didn't know what I didn't know. That was like what our life was. You know, it seems like every family has one child with asthma. And we had that one child that had asthma. And so anyway, that's what we dealt with. So what happened was my eyes were open to Juice Plus um, because a friend of ours fell 20 feet at a grain elevator and suffered a severe spinal cord injury. And he didn't sever his spinal cord, but he had all this inflammation around his spinal cord. And so that led to paralysis for him. And so I was calling a friend and asking her for prayer. And she bravely said, what do you think about getting him on Juice Plus? This was the friend that was trying to share with me for so long. And I said, Shelly, he needs prayer. Okay. Can you quit trying to share Juice Plus with everybody? Like quit it, you know? And so she explained to me that we had to get rid of the inflammation. Well, that made sense to me, right? I'm a physical therapist. All of my patients were inflamed, right? And so she sent me some information and I, and she actually offered to pay for it, to put this in a complete stranger's body. And that really resonated to, with me. And so I figured, well, maybe I should actually find out what this is. And so when I did, I found out that it was food. And so that made sense to me. And then I said, I found out that there was all this research behind it. Well, then I decided to find out what the research meant. And I found out that the research was showing that it was reducing the inflammation in the body and it was decreasing oxidative stress and it was helping balance the immune system and all of this stuff and light bulbs were going off in my head as to why we need so many fruits and vegetables in our lives every single day. And so they say you're either the tortoise or the hare, right? You either do things slow or you do things fast. Well, I'm a hare, okay? Like I'm a wackadoodle. I'm running around every day, everywhere. So I jumped in head first. Like it immediately made sense to me and I wanted to shout this from the rooftops, okay? <laughs> the other thing that was going on in my life was that I was really starting to dislike my job, okay? I had to do hours of paperwork every night. And it just progressively got worse as I was going in the home health care field. Um, every time, you know, Congress would pass a new law, we would have 15 more forms that we would have to fill out. And it was like I was spending most of my time on my computer in my patient's home. Instead of actually treating them and helping them, I was doing paperwork. And that is not why I got into physical therapy, you guys. Like, I'm a servant-hearted person, and I want to help people. So I would not sit there and do the paperwork. I would set the computer to the side and actually treat my patients. Well, then when I got, that was really wearing on me. And so I had an immediate why. And so I decided to jump into this business head first. But in that year when I was really working on getting to national marketing director, I was also utilizing the knowledge that I got from this amazing company. Because when you enter this community, 
you are just, it's like getting another degree. You know, I had a degree in nutrition, but I did not know anything about nutrition. Okay. I knew how to plug carbohydrates, fats, and proteins into a chart, right? I didn't even understand why fiber was important, right? So I didn't know anything about nutrition. Now, holy cow, look out. I know all sorts of stuff about nutrition. And so I was able to actually apply that to my patients while I was still working as a physical therapist. And I'll give you an example. I walked into a patient's room one time and she was a type one diabetic and she had blood sugars that were off the charts. We're talking in hemoglobin A1C of like a 13, like crazy town, high blood sugars. Okay. And she was complaining to me about her knee hurting. And it was, I said, okay, well rate it for me. And it was a nine or a 10 out of 10, like she could barely walk. And I said, okay, well, what are your blood sugars? And she said, she kind of looked at me funny. Like, why do you want to know my blood sugars? What's that got to do with my knee pain? And I said, what are your blood sugars? And then every morning when she would wake up, they would be like three to 400. Okay. And I was like, as long as your blood sugars are that high, your knee is going to hurt that bad. And she was like, really? Nobody's ever told me that. You know, she's been a type one diabetic for, I don't even know how many years and nobody's ever explained that to her. And I said, well, what are you, what are you doing at night to keep your blood sugars up? And she said, I'm drinking an insurer. <laughs> so I went to the kit, to the, to the refrigerator and I gave her the can of insure and I asked her to read the ingredients. And of course it's high fructose corn syrup and sugar and whey protein and all this stuff. And I, the rest of it, she couldn't pronounce. So then I went and got our can of nuts and I said, read the ingredients. And she was like, Brazil nuts, walnuts, cashews, all this stuff. And I said, which one's food? And she said, the nuts. And I said, okay, eat the nuts and a handful of grapes and let's see what happens. She did that and her blood sugars came down into the 100s. They were the high 100s, but her knee pain came down to three out of 10. So do you see how food directly impacted her inflammation in her body? As long as she was spiking her blood sugars, she was going to be in that much pain because she was inflaming her body so badly. Plus she was feeding that bad bacteria <coughs> in her gut and it was causing major immune system issues. So that like, you know, just that alone just applied so much. So it makes so much sense when we flood our body with all of this whole food nutrition, I wanted juice plus in that woman's body so bad, but I couldn't share with her because of my work situation. Can you imagine what juice plus would have done for her? Oh my gosh. I did share with a couple people, but we'll keep that under the, <laughs> and they did fantastic by the way, because there's nobody more nutritionally deficient than the elderly. I'm telling you. So, but it, it's, we have got to bring down inflammation and nobody taught me that in school. Like I went, you know, and got a two year, 24 month hardcore degree, master's degree in physical therapy. And I learned about modalities and all of this stuff to bring down inflammation. Did anybody ever once tell me or teach me that nutrition was like 80% of the key of bringing down their inflammation? No. Not one, not one teacher taught me that. We didn't even have a course in nutrition. That is a crime that has to change. We have to change that course because if we don't, our patients are just gonna keep being inflamed and yeah, that's good for business, but it's not good for the health of America. So my passion has changed and I actually got out of physical therapy and I'm just teaching, how, how te teaching people how to change their health and their inflammation and everything by changing what they're putting in their mouths. And it's having way more of an impact on people than I ever had while I was seeing people that were on 30 medications, ate terrible food and TV dinners and candies and pop and all of this stuff. And, and they couldn't even remember my name, right? Half of them couldn't even remember my name. So I'm having such a more impact on, the, on people than I ever was as a physical therapist. So I think that turned it back over to Michaela or Nyla? <laughs> Either one. I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Laura. You're welcome. <clears throat> okay. So my story, when I was introduced to Juice Plus, I thought that my family was pretty much overall pretty healthy. <clears throat> we dealt with what I thought was normal issues for most families. Uh, my six-year-old son had severe eczema where storied cream was the only means of control for him. 
my 14-year-old uh, daughter had severe constipation to the point of giving herself enemas um, at the house, missing too many days of school, uh, all that kind of stuff, um, as well as boil, boil acne all over her face, chest, and back. And my 16-year-old daughter, who was diagnosed with Tourette's syndrome uh, when she was three, had been diagnosed with bipolar, and I had chronic pain in my shoulder from a shoulder repair 12 years ago, as well as seasonal allergies that always required one to two shots. So my family's health has changed drastically since then. My son no longer has eczema. He can be on the swim team if he wants to. He can take hour-long baths if he wants to. Um, my daughter no longer deals with constipation or acne. And constipation used to be a nightly thing around the supper table to talk about, and it's just not a conversation in our house anymore. Um, my other daughter is no longer being treated for bipolar, and she was on three different meds at one point, and um, is off everything, like the bipolar symptoms are just gone. Um, I didn't need an allergy shot this year for the first time since as far back as I can remember, and I'm able to sleep on my shoulder again and have no pain while I'm working in my clinic. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so not only has my family seen huge changes, but also in my clients. Um, I signed up as a distributor just to save money on my own product. Um, when I quickly realized the benefits that my family was seeing, I couldn't help but share with others that I knew had the same issues. And then it quickly just grew into a business that I wasn't even expecting. And so I share Juice Plus with my clients because I know it works. I see a huge difference in the way they hold their postures longer. Thus, they need fewer appointments to achieve their pain-free lifestyle again. And that's what they come to me for. So uh, my own is is what I do at my clinic. And that has allowed me to help people from the outside in. And now Juice Plus is a way that I can help them from the inside out. And so that, that is a quick powerhouse story. <laughs> um, gals, I wanna ask you one more question uh, before we wrap up. Um, and both of you, either one, you know, whoever wants to go first, how have your eyes been open to the future of healthcare now? Michaela, you go first. Okay, well, you know, I will second what Laura said about, you know, these people on 20 different medications or 30 medications. And so I guess before I didn't know any better. We got one week of nutrition training in pharmacy school and we took that class along with the physicians. So I would say you guys give us grace. You don't know what you don't know. And your mind is blown as soon as you do know what we know now. Um, but I would say now that I liken our medical system to a car and to an oil light that comes on in your car, when the light comes on, you can do one of two things. You can find and fix the problem or you can unplug the light. And I'm in the pharmacy very minimally now because A, it's hard on me <laughs> and um, B, I feel like all I'm doing is unplugging lights. And so <laughs> more now when I am in the pharmacy, I'm asking people you know, what are you eating? If they're, if they have an autoimmune disorder, I'm, I'm saying how much diet pop do you drink? You know, I, it's just incredible the amount of knowledge that we know now. And what I didn't know three years ago is that 75 to 90% of disease is preventable. So you hear all these, you know, people saying, oh, it's genetic. It's genetic. It's actually not genetic. It's what we're doing to ourselves, what we're exposed to. And all of that impacts the genes that are turned on or off to cause disease. So um, I have a whole different view now than I used to. And it's so much more fun to be on this side and really empowering people to take control of their health. So go ahead, Laura. Yeah, you know, for me, I a couple things. Well, first of all, whenever I was working as a home physical therapist, home health physical therapist, and I would see a patient with an autoimmune disease. Um, I hated seeing that patient. I, if I saw a fibromyalgia or MS or something like rheumatoid arthritis or something like that, you guys, I did not want to see that patient because I knew that I could do nothing for them. Like I was going to teach them a few exercises to maybe get a little bit stronger but I was really not going to impact their lives very. And you guys, I got into physical therapy to, to help people. And that feeling is awful. So can you imagine being the patient who has fibromyalgia and who has rheumatoid arthritis and has MS and all of these autoimmune diseases, and they feel like they're constantly being put off because I'm telling you, the physician doesn't know how to help them either. All they got is some 
uh, you know, immunosuppressant type drugs and some anti-inflammatories that will event eventually destroy their liver and cause more issues down the road. And they're probably going to end up with more autoimmune disease. Now, I love to talk to people with autoimmune disease because I know that if they do what I, what I tell them to do, beyond Juice Plus, you guys, it's going to take more than just Juice Plus, right? They got to make other changes, but I know that I can help them. That is an incredibly empowering feeling as somebody who got into healthcare to help people, okay? So it's so much more fun to be on that end of it. Um, I, I get frustrated at times though. I just spoke to somebody on the phone today who has a husband who has leukemia and I asked her, you know, he's had this issue for a while and I asked her, have they spoken to you at all about nutrition? And she said, no. She said, really, it's just get whatever you can into him. And so I asked, you know, well, what is he eating? And she said, well, you know, like Cheerios and, you know, he'll eat some fruits and vegetables here and there, maybe in some meat, you know, whatever he feels like eating. And so then, you know, it just absolutely breaks my heart because it's such a disservice because that man needs a good, healthy immune system. He has cancer. Okay. Okay. So I, you know, I pray that the, that the medical community will come around. They're usually about 15 years behind the, um, the PhDs who are now realizing, just like Michaela said, that their DNA is not our destiny. They are into the human microbiome project, which is finding how much the bacteria in your gut determines how, how healthy you are and how much disease you'll have is the bacteria in your gut and you guys the bacteria in your gut eats plant food okay so we're not getting around not eating plant food and that bacteria in your gut's going to decide how healthy your immune system is and how inflamed you are and how much oxidative stress you have okay so we have to figure this out if we don't start with nutrition we are completely missing the boat as healthcare professionals and i pray that they come around to it because it's a crime when a cancer patient is given an insure or told to drink, eat whatever they can get down because they just don't feel good. Cause that's not the case. Guess what? If you put plant food in them, they'll probably feel better. This just in, they may feel like eating more. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, so that is kind of how I'm feeling. I'm praying it comes around. The thing that gives me hope is this community. Okay. This community is the most amazing group of people I have ever been around in my entire life. And they love each other and they just want everybody to be happy and healthy and successful in whatever they do. And they have an amazing passion for truly changing lives in this country because we got to change it because this country will go broke if we don't. <laughs> so that's kind of my feelings on it. So um, I hope that... <laughs> <laughs> isn't too straightforward. <laughs> love it. Just love it, Laura. Thank you. Thanks, Michaela. Uh, such powerful stories of inspiration and information to know <coughs> that we can make a difference in our lives as well as others. Thank you all for joining us. If you have any questions, please contact the person who invited you to the call. Have a great night, guys. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you, guys. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.